Greetings to all of you wonderful people from the future who will be joining me through this time machine of YouTube in which you can look back into the past. It is the day after the apocalypse. I've witnessed, I was there, I, I was there for the, the eclipse. I saw the eclipse from within the path of totality. I was there. I was uh, I was fairly nearby, close enough that I could just uh, take a, a, f a fairly uh, brief trip out to to uh, where I would be right within the, the path of totality, and it was epic. It was absolutely epic. I was I was I was thrilled. It was uh, three unfor unforgettable minutes of um, awesomeness, of just pure awe. Uh, it, it was absolutely uh, fantastic. Just a, a, mi a miracle to uh, to witness. And. Um, and while I was looking at the at the eclipse, while I was looking at, at the the sun being completely covered up by the moon, with with darkness uh, all around, it was a it was really freaking neat. You could it was it kind of looked like twilight all around, except that it wasn't twilight. It was like, well, that's where the sun is sh still shining, and we were in, in the shadow <laughs> of the moon. It was it was um it's pretty epic. And during in the, and in those three minutes, you know what I was thinking. I was thinking, all right, so that that uh, that hill that I'm I'm on top of in my Minecraft world, you know that hill. So I think it's actually too big for a starter house. I think a starter house build on this on top of this hill, I think it's it's not gonna it's not gonna do this hill justice. I don't think it's the right place for the the starter house build because it's just it's just I I can imagine a much bigger build on this hill. Right? Like this hill, it's it's a terrific hill. It's a great, it's a wonderful hill for for something big. I can make I can make something quite amazing out of this hill. If, given uh, enough time. I really don't like this block over here. I'm gonna have to like break this block down. It's just it's just it's just sticking out. It's very out of place. I don't like it. I'm gonna have to do something about that. But I, I don't think I'm gonna build my starter house here. I, I'm gonna uh, have a change of plans. A bit of a change of plans. I think actually a better spot would be right over here, right over here, right uh, very close to spawn, and this like because there's some uh, a little bit of flat land over here. I'm gonna have to carve this out to make more flat land. I have barely have any flat land anywhere. Like look at this, look, look at this. There's no flat land. This there's no flatness anywhere. So I'm I'm a bit out of out of out of luck in that regard. I have to I have to anywhere I go, I have to carve out flat land for this, this starter house build. But that's alright, and I think over here, this, this isn't too much, this isn't gonna be too much. I only need a 21 by 21 footprint of, of flat space, and I think that's uh, that's doable, I think I can do that. It's uh, it's gonna look kind of very much like the my original farmhouse from the first series, from my, my first attempt, in which I, I made it to 19 episodes. So, uh, because, because, you know, half of the house, the the northern half, that's north, the northern half of it is going to be um, going right up against the, the dirt. There's a, a dirt wall, so there's going to be no windows there. It's going to look very much like the, the farmhouse from my original build, except that I, I, I do still want to make it out of stone. I'm going to smelt, smelt rocks back into stone and make it out of stone. Because I, I, cause I still, I'm still planning on, like, when I, when I do get around to finally making the big build on top of this hill. I think I'm still gonna make it out of stone and it's gonna look great. And I'm gonna, I kinda wanna, you know, make this one out of, make my starter house out of stone as well. I, it's, it's far enough away from it. It's kind of, it's gonna be far enough away from it that I don't think it's gonna matter that much actually, now that I think about it. And I don't, I don't really have to maintain the, the, uh, the same color palette. I mean, it's still gonna be the same color. I can make it like uh, stone bricks and then I don't have to keep smelting it again if I have to break it back down again, you know. So yeah, actually, stone stone bricks is, is probably going to be a better better option. And then I, I still kind of want a diorite uh, roof, or um, not quite a roof, a diorite awning roof. You, you, I don't know what to call it. My my um, my glass glass floor patio roof type of deal that I do. You'll you'll see what I mean. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to bit to business. I really need to not die in this episode. This is episode five. This is the same episode in which I died in my previous attempt. My um, uh, very unforgiving 
um, third attempt at hardcore mode, I died in episode five because I, w I thought it was a good idea to to fight pillagers without iron armor on, and it was not a good idea. And I got pillaged. I got pillaged. I didn't run away. I should have just ran. I should have just ran, and I had the impulse to run, but I was. I also thought that I was gonna. I was worried I was gonna hurt myself from fall damage, so I. I, I just. I took a turn, and it was. It was not a good turn, of events, and uh, I got killed. They shot me in the back, so I was trying to run away. Those those rascals, those. They have they have no sense of, of, of ethics of any kind of ethical standards. Those 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 pillager men, man, they're they're some some monsters. I tell you. All right, we need to. Uh, I I need to. I should have dropped this off at at the at the hilltop. I don't really need this much co um, cobble on me for real. That's all right. That's all right. It's okay to have a little bit over here at this chest. That's all right. And the diorite, I can drop that off too. I don't really need the apples currently yet either. I can drop those off too for now. And they can live over here in this spot for now. I need more stone axe axes. I got all these shovels and all these stone pickaxes because I was planning on continuing to flatten out the top of the hill there, but no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to, well, I'll, I'll, I'll certainly utilize the shovels. I'm still, still going to need the shovels. I'm going to need more, actually. Well, darn it, I need more sticks to make the second, to make another stone axe. Whew, I need to slow down. Slow down. Let's just take it slow, the way that Minecraft is meant to be played. I got to not, I got to stop rushing, because that's, that's what gets you in trouble. That's how, that's how you lose your hardcore world, uh, hardcore mode worlds. You st it's, it's when you start rushing things, and then you you get caught off guard because you're trying to rush, and that that's when you get killed. I gotta avoid that. I need to smelt stone, smelt that uh, all of the all of that that um all of the that cobble into stone and make. Oh, I have iron. That's right. Uh, I need to smelt all of that cobble into stone, and I mean, and I need to I need to make I need to get I need to to cook some logs into charcoal first because I don't have I don't only I don't have much coal uh, and I've been using char I've just been making charcoal with with wood out of my wood there it is there's the the eclipse of the moon oh, that, that's not the eclipse uh, oh, a new moon is not an eclipse of course but that's basically how it looked like except that there wasn't really much the corona I mean you could it, it was you know the, it was it, I mean it was amazing it, it was like it only got dark right in the in the in the three minutes of totality, and as soon as the sun peeked out just a tiny little bit, it got bright again. The sun is so freaking bright, like it, it was it wasn't dark for long at all. But in those three minutes, you could definitely see uh, uh, planets. I think they were planets. I'm not sure if they were stars. I think I think it was like it was like Venus and and Mars probably, or Venus and I don't think it was Jupiter. It wasn't a bright one, but it was like Venus and another one. Maybe it was like. I, I'm pretty sure, I, I think it was Venus and Mars. I've heard talk, people talking about how it was Venus and Mars. And I think there was like Mercury right underneath it. I think I think it could see like three planets during the time of totality. It was freaking cool. It looked kind of like that. But I need to sleep before it gets too, before the, before things start spawning. Even though I, I, I feel pretty secure on this little, in this little campsite. I've, I've uh, lit up the surrounding terrain. I should be safe to just spend the entire night on, on, at this campsite. I don't, I probably don't really, well, I, I, I don't, I don't really want to have the bed out here permanently because, because it rains. I, it, I don't have an awning over the bed. I don't, I don't like to, I don't like it when my beds get wet. So I, that's why I, I break it back down. I need to cook, cook me some oak logs, make, make charcoal out of oak. The birds, the birds come through. You can hear the birds. In my previous video, I wasn't sure if you could hear the birds, but yeah, those morning, morning birds, it's very early in the morning for me right now. Those, you can hear them. You can hear them in the mid-video. They come through. They're not too quiet. I was, I was thinking they, they would probably be too quiet, but they are not. They are not too quiet. You can hear them in the video. I was very pleased for, about that. I was very happy about that. I need a hoe. I'm going to need to, I'm gonna need to, to uh, get a lot of wood. I need, I need a lot of coal for you know to smelt the cobble into stone. It's gonna be a long time. I mean, it, I, I, it, it's gonna be great if I make. I, I hope to make a, a decent amount of progress on this starter house build in this episode. It would be great if I could complete this. What the fuck was that? Did you guys hear that? What the fuck was that? 
don't even know. I do not even know, but I thought I, I, I think that was a zombie getting killed somewhere around from the sun. Got burned by the sun. I think that's what it was, but I don't know where it was. It's it kind of kind of scared me a little bit. All right, what are we doing? What am I talking about? What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was talking about I was building a hoe. That's what I was. That was what I was doing. I need to build a hoe. Ho ho ho. Build a hoe, chop down some wood. <coughs> so yeah, I was I was there, man. And the apocalypse did not happen, which I'm very happy about, because now I can continue playing this lovely world. I'm gonna keep my shield equipped while I'm chopping wood, just in case. That's right, I have a hoe and a four. That's right, I need to not forget. Yeah, the apocalypse did not occur, so I get to keep playing Minecraft. I'm very happy about that. And I get to keep, continue making videos for for you wonderful people from the future. The algorithm was not very has, has not noticed my my last two videos yet. Like they barely got any any kind of any kind of impressions yet. But I, I'm also not too concerned about that because even though like the first two so currently like the first two videos got like a, a good bunch of impressions and a good bunch of views, but they're they're mostly I think they're like. They're they're mostly fake views. I mean, they, they're mostly people that, that clicked on it that didn't really watch through it. That kind of um, you know just checked it out briefly and decided it wasn't for them and then moved on. So I haven't I haven't actually retained anybody uh, currently yet. So if you're if you're enjoying this, um, please let me know in the comments and, and um, you know if you decide to stick around for the entire duration of the episode, that I would really you know, you're you're the best. If you're the you're the, the kind of person that I'm making this for. If if that's you, if you're actually actually sticking through this, I think a lot of people are are kind of wary of hardcore mode series um, initially in those in those first in the first few episodes because you don't know if it's if it's gonna last, right? So it's you don't know if it's worth it to to commit to it to something like that. Especially now that I have a bad track record. This is my fourth freaking attempt at a hardcore mode world. So. It's it's hard to you know it's hard to uh, uh, to tell if it's if it's gonna be worth it or not for you. Oh, there's a a block of wood holding all of the leaves, nourishing all of the leaves, preventing them from getting from decomposing. There we go. I need the leaves to decompose, please. Let's do something like that, and I'll go ahead and chop that tree down as well. The tree by the spawn. I need to I need to have all plenty of wood cuz I need to I need to smelt it into charcoal smelting the wood that's right that's how you do it and um, I'm going to I need to right here I think right around here is actually where the the map center is the uh, minus 64 minus 64 I think it's right around here oh it's not it's a little further a little further than I thought which which direction is it it's like this this way okay it's a little further this way dude that means I could build the farmhouse like right here Right in the spawn, because this is flat, flat land right here, dude. Oh, it's gonna be okay. Sixty-four, and then out that way a little further, further out that way. That's wonderful. I thought it was like right here. I thought it, thought it was. I thought I did not have this much. That's great. All right, that's very good news. I, I didn't realize. I'm actually very happy about that. Makes me happy. It's every now and then you you, you encounter the good surprises in life. I, mean, I really like surprises in life, but the, the thing is, most of the time, like nine out of ten times, they're not the good kind. They're like the the bad surprises, and those are those are usually not that not very um, not very satisfying. They're usually uh, some kind of bad news, the the bad surprises. So it, it's hard to say that I like surprises in life. I like the good surprises, you know, but they're those are infrequent. I guess it's still worth it. I guess the bad ones, the good ones, even if it's like one out of ten. Even if the odds are pretty low, it's still worth it. It's still, it's still the, the surprises are still kind of nice. They're, they still feel feel so good. It feels that much more fulfilling when it's rare, right? I want to chop that tree down too. I don't, I do not like that tree. It's, I don't like them when they're like, they're like, um, at the bottom of a hill because then they they don't really look very prominent. They just kind of look out of place. Let's see if I can smelt some more charcoal over here. I can, I can do that. Yes, I can. Um, yeah, let's do that. 
And yeah, I'm gonna just go, go. I'm just gonna go ahead and chop that one down too. I should have come back for the canopy though. There, uh, uh, there should be a bunch of canopy that um, that got decomposed. No, it's still it's still in the in the process. Well, I want to go back because I don't I don't want any of the I don't want to lose any of the saplings to um, I don't want any of the saplings to disappear. Everything disappears in five minutes, so I, 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 I like to come back to the saplings if I if I'm if I'm not if I'm not just hoeing the canopy down manually by hoe like this, then I, I, I like to, I try to remember to come back to them. So I do like to hoard my saplings. I don't like any saplings going to waste. No sapling left, but left behind is the policy. It's the policy in this hardcore, hardcore or, or game series, hardcore Minecraft series. I have my own rules. I have very, very peculiar rules. I don't, I don't see anybody on YouTube doing, doing what I'm doing. They're, they're all playing, everybody plays, has their different play style, right? But uh, I'm pretty sure mine is the best play style. I mean, it's 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 just not. It's it's just very unique. I, I think I don't see anybody else doing it. Though. I I have I have some very unique tendencies that I don't I don't see anybody else utilizing. Like I, I don't think my cornerstones are kind of patented. I, I don't I, nobody else makes cornerstones. I, I haven't made any cornerstones in this series yet so far in this in this episode. I mean in this in this uh, season. What I don't know what to call it. They're not seasons. Because like the last one only lasted for like f four episodes, and then I died in episode five, and the one before that I only I only got two episodes because the, the third one the third one was just so terrible that I decided to scrap it all. And you can still see all of them, by the way. They're still available, even though I I've un delisted the videos. I've unlisted the videos, but you you can still they're still publicly accessible through the Failed Worlds playlist. I have a Failed Worlds playlist that is publicly accessible, and if you really want to see me fail. In these, in my previous attempts at hardcore um, mode worlds, um, you can watch. You can still watch them. You can still watch me get shot in the back by a pillager in my previous attempt. It's not very. It's not that entertaining. That's the thing. The, the deaths that I've had, they're not even satisfying deaths. They're just indignating uh, deaths that weren't that were weren't even fun to watch. Wow, that looks dangerous. I'm a bit. Worried about trying to chop the street down. Well, I'm not too worried because that's that's far away. I mean, at worst, I'll get shot down by a skeleton and not even hurt myself enough to to die from it. So I think I'm safe enough to be chopping the street down. I don't think I have too much to worry about. It would be quite horrific if I die chopping this tree down. That would be quite horrific. I would be very mad at that. But I don't think that's, I don't think that will happen. Oh, no. Ow. Now. And that, yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm talking about. I was trying to freaking make it to the canopy just to, so I can start from the top of the canopy. And now I gotta recover my health before I get to get back onto the tree. I don't want to catch myself without full full health, full hunger. All right, let's try that again. I, I must have not sprinted enough. I did. I didn't sprint. Let's see if I can. I, I'm pretty sure I can make this jump. There we go. I knew I could do it. I knew I could do it. All right. Now I don't need the. I don't need the interface anymore. Yeah, I play without the the interface most of the time, and that's that's something that I don't really see any anybody else doing. So I think that that should give me some some notoriety in the long run. Once I demonstrate that I'm capable of of withstanding the hardcore hardcoreness of the hardcore ser of hardcore mode. Once I d demonstrate that I'm capable of making it at least to day, day 100 in a hardcore mode series. You know, I still haven't managed to do that. I haven't demonstrated proof of, excuse me, I haven't demonstrated proof of concept yet. And that's why, that's what's holding, holding me back. That's why people aren't really watching these yet because they know that I'm probably just gonna die again. And I'm not, I'm going to play this world forever. This is, this is gonna be the forever world in which I'm, I'm, I'm never gonna die. Because I know, I know what I'm doing. I learned from my mistakes in my previous th uh, three attempts, and th this time, this time I'm going to play forever. I'm going to, I'm going to play even even after I die in the real world. I'm still going to keep playing this world in the afterlife. Let's sleep real quick on top of the canopy and not get blown up. I think we're on day 22 now. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna play this world forever. 
even after I die in real life, I'm gonna continue playing with Minecraft from the afterlife because because this is a glimpse of heaven for me. I don't think there's anything better in life than Minecraft. Well, I mean, I, I'm, that's just a joke. I, I'm not serious. I'm not really serious about that. Uh, I this is this is uh, this Minecraft channel is is intended to become a philosophy channel in disguise later on. I decided I'm going to kind of hold off on the philosophical content, on the intellectual, on the intel intellect intellectual content. I'm going to hold off a little bit on that because uh, I want to make to make it to day 100. I want to make sure that uh, that I've made it. I'm not I'm not entirely uh, positive that I will. I mean, despite what I say, I don't actually you know not, now that I've I've failed at it a, a few times. I, I'm I'm a little little bit concerned that that um, that you know that that I might I might struggle to make it to to episode twenty to beyond episode twenty, which would be a hundred days at the at the pace that I'm playing at. I'm I'm making I'm basically making um a full episode for every five days that I play, and and yeah I I really hope I really want to make it to day one hundred. And after day 100, I'm going to feel like the world is, has basically been a success. If I die after that, I'm probably still going to leave, leave the, you know, I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm not going to call it a, a failure because I made it past day 100. After day 100, I'm going to feel like, well, that was a, that was a successful run. Like I, I if I die after that, I'm, I'm still going to feel pretty good about it because I, I'm, I, you know, I, I got sub, to a substantial, I, I got far enough into it that I, I, you know, I can call it a success. But, you know, before day 100, I'm a little, I, it's, it's concerning. Creepers, I gotta watch out for the creepers. All right, I, I've done enough here for, for now. I should, I should be, I should go back. I'll come back to this canopy later on to pick up the saplings and hopefully not get blown up by any creepers that uh, have spawned in that dark cave over there. I'm still, you know, I have full iron armor, but you know, as you know, that's not enough to to um to keep you safe from the creepers. Of course not. You need protection on your armor to be safe from creepers. Until then, you are you are not really safe. It's still a, a very dangerous world for me. I still have to be ultra cautious. But I'm I'm going to at least I'm going to spend. I'm not going to be uh, digging around in 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 dark, dangerous caves very much. I, I don't intend. I don't think I'm gonna be coming back for that canopy. It's too. It's too far now. Well, no, because I, I. Yeah, I, I. I'll be. I can smell my. Yeah, I can do everything over here. I just need. I just need to gather. Go. Go back to the hill to to get more cobble. The trains are passing by. I'm right next to train tracks. Yeah, I need to. I need to get. Um, a start on the cobble smelting operation. I should just I should just bring this wood with me, bring this charcoal with me. I don't uh, I don't know how much I'm going to utilize this this particular furnace over here. I'll leave a little charcoal in here. I need more food too. I only have like nine fish left. Oh yeah, I was going to. I need to. The next step. I need to uh, figure out where that cornerstone is going to be. Where that where I think it's in this direction. It's close. It's near that tree. It's, it's close to where the tree was. I need. I need to plant my first cornerstone, and show you guys what I mean by that. This is and this is kind of the the most important cornerstone. Though this is the world map center, the minus sixty four minus sixty four. I think we're right around it right here. Yeah, it's like right here. Sixty five. This is sixty three. This is sixty three. So like, like right here is the map center. I'll expand it a little bit, expand out towards a little bit. And in the future, in the future, if I make it far into the future, if I make it far into the future, I'm gonna expand this cornerstone out further because this one is kind of, the, the map center is kind of the most significant one, one because because in the because I, I I'm mostly I'm mostly going to be spending I'm going to be spending a lot of time around spawn because I don't as as 
as you may have known, you know, if you've watched any more of, of if, if you've watched any of, of the previous episodes, yeah, I might have explained to you that in, in the past that that uh, I don't like to travel very far out because I, I don't spend a whole, I don't have a whole lot of time to play Minecraft and normally by the time I, I complete my build, by the time I do anything significant, another update would have already, would have already been released and I don't like having a whole lot of, of, a whole lot of the world, of the chunks of the world already loaded in, already, um, I hear nasty sounds, they're in that cave. That cave is very dangerous, it's not completely not lit up yet, so I have to be very cautious about being around that, that opening. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I don't like to travel very far away from spawn. So, the, the, these first few quadrants, the, I mean, the first few maps around the spawn are really kind of important to me. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't like to go further out than the land that I'm planning to utilize, to actually use. Because updates happen faster than I can actually use, use the land, utilize the land. Because I like to build something everywhere. I like to build, like, small, at least little outposts. In, like, I, ideally, I want, like, a little outpost in every level zero map. And I, I like to make these uh, what I call co cornerstones. And basically what these are, I can take my shield off for now. I'm not too worried about, about things blowing up on me in the daytime. And what these are, so these will appear on the maps. On the maps when you, like, so we're at 60, 63, 63. When, if I make a map right now, you will see uh, a little, you will see this, you know, a little bit of, of orange wood of this color right in the corner of the map. And that's why I call them cornerstones, because they designate the corners of the maps. And at the, the level zero map, at the, on the level zero map, you can see, you can see every block. So the cornerstones only need to be two by two to be visible on the level zero map. On the level one map, they need to be four by four, because then you know, you need a minimum of, of two of two by two block on every at every corner for it to be visible for it to be visible on the level one map. Let's do something like this for now. Temporarily. And for a level two map you need an eight by eight cornerstone for that one to be visible, and so on. And for a level three map, you need 16 by 16 cornerstone. And for a level four map, the maximum map size, which in, on which you can see a 2,000 by 2,000, basically a two by two kilometer, four square kilometer area on a level four map, you need a 32 by 32 uh, cornerstone for it to be visible in the corner of a level four map. I don't know if I'm going to actually get that far because I mean, it's hardcore mode, you never know. I plan to live forever, but I, I do acknowledge that that would be quite a an impressive feat. And I don't actually know if I'm gonna be able to make it. I wanted, well, I just, I, am I just gonna stick with oak, oak fence posts? I'm gonna stick with oak fence posts. Didn't I make? Didn't I make a whole bunch of birch, birch wood, birch tree fence posts? Or I think, oh yeah, I decided I'm gonna just use up, use those up for the, for the build, for the farmhouse build, for the starter house build. But then I was gonna use oak fences for everything else. Do I want birch tree fences just to give a little bit of, just to have a little bit of contrast on these cornerstones, or do I just want a completely monotonous? Build. I need to make up this my mind about this right now. Yeah, completely monotonous builds. Yeah, I don't feel like because I don't feel like going back for the cornerstones for the the birch wood right now. So yeah, totally monotonous. All oak. 100% apple wood, apple tree wood. Cornerstones is how I'm gonna go. So for the time being. You know, because I don't know if I'm actually going to make it far enough into the game that I'll 
that I'm going to I'm going to make you know level two maps for the time being since I don't really know how far I'm going to get I'm I'm just going to make the cornerstones no bigger than four by four than that that's that's as big as the, as the as I'm going to make them and that particular cornerstone is kind of the most important one because that designates that cornerstone will be visible in the corner of of a level four map from this from the initial from the initial from the the four quadrants right around the origin right around spawn so like right now this is the northeastern quadrant and if i expand that cornerstone to 32 by 32 it's going to be visible in the corner of the northeastern level four map and then if i go to this side of the cornerstone there's going to be a corner you know if i expand this to a 32 by 32 cornerstone it's going to be visible as a, as a, as a single pixel dot in the corner of a level, level four map from the second quadrant from the northwestern quadrant and so on and then that's the south the southwestern quadrant and that's the southeastern quadrant Oops. so yeah, that's a very important cornerstone. I'm really glad that it's kind of far out because that means that I'm going to, I could, I could build my farmhouse right here in the southeastern quadrant and I'm not going to need to flatten out a whole whole lot of all that much dirt, all that much land. I thought I was going to need to flatten out a lot more than that. I thought that I thought the cornerstone was like over here somewhere and then I was going to have to level, level all of this down. But since it's out all the way out there, I can actually make my farm, my initial, my starter house build like right here. And I'm going to have a good sight. I'm going to have good vision of the, the moonrise as I when I go to sleep. So I've, actually, this is an excellent location for a starter house. So yeah, I'm going to I'm just going to shift the, move the operation here. I'm going to abandon for the time being. I'm going to abandon the hilltop operation because I'm going. I want to build something substantial up there. Once I once I make it far farther into the game, let's not break down grass with a bed. Once I make it far enough into the game, I'm going to build something pretty substantial up on that hill. And I'm, I'm going to be king, king of the hill. But before that, I'm not going to be king of the hill yet, before, because it's going to be a long time. I'm, I want my first build to be very small, very modest. I just want some, I just want enough space to, to grow my wheat and, and, um, and my cows and enough grazing area for the cows. And a, a, a pretty, and I want a small, you know, a, a small, modest house. I should just build it out of oak wood. Screw the stone. Why even bother with the stone? I should just... I, I have plenty of, of of logs. I should just make it out of out of oak wood. Let's do that. I'll, I'll, I don't... I don't really... And I, I'll use up the... I'll use up the birch... I'll, I'll make f birch fences. Do I... Should I just make it a completely monotone build? Completely out of oak? And not even, dude, it's gonna be hilarious. Not even have the birch birch fence for the contrast, because I've been using oak wood fence like uh, in this terrain, because I decided that oak looks nice in plains, in the with the it looks nice with the the green tint, the green hue, green hue of the um, of the plains biomes. So yeah, I think I actually should just use use wood, use oak wood for the for the build instead of trying to do it out of stone. And I'll still have I'll have I still want to do use the diorite for the rooftop. So then that'll keep it that'll make it lightning proof. It won't set on to get it set on fire from from lightning. I don't have any more wood than this. I thought I had more wood. There's all of that birch wood, birch fence. I, I made so much birch fence. All right, well. Ah, uh, I guess I could use this up. I guess it would be nice to have a bit of contrast. Just for the, the starter house. Or not. Decisions, decisions. Because if I don't use that up, what am I going to use all of, that all of that fence for? I have so much birch fence. Let's, alright, I'm going to make, yeah, I'll, I'll use birch fence just for the starter house build, just for the, to contrast a little bit with the oak, just because it, just for a tiny bit of contrast so that it's not completely monotone. Because otherwise it would just be completely monotone, which isn't bad. I mean, I, I, I'm not opposed to completely monotone builds. But yeah, if I'm gonna be building the, the walls out of wood, out of oak wood, although I have so much cobble, I have lots of cobble. I already have the cobble and I don't already have the wood. 
So actually, I should, I, I take that back. I, I am going to go ahead and make it out of cobble. Question is, do I want to smelt the cobble into stone and make stone, stone bricks? Wouldn't it be bad? It wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't take up too much charcoal. I mean, 32 blocks of charcoal, that's already like what? Like, um, four stacks of cobble? Which is probably, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to need a whole, well, I'm probably going to need more than that. I'm probably going to need like at least eight stacks of, of cobble. But, that, but that's only like th another 32. So that's still not too much. I, I, I used, I, I spent, I, uh, I uh, left a whole bunch of the, of wood at the at that other furnace, and I have all this birch wood. I can can cook the birch wood. Oh, wait, fifty six, right? Fifty six. That is that's divisible by. That's divisible. I still have coal in this one. Jesus. Yeah, let's just use this up. Let's just get rid of all of the birch wood that I have. Let's just, let's just throw the log. Yeah, I, I don't need it. <laughs> Sneeze. Excuse me. It's tempting to just throw that in there, but I, I wanna. I guess I'm gonna save the oak, oak wood now. Yeah, let's just throw this in there. And then once it uses up the coal, I'll, I'll, I'll put the, the stack of charcoal into it, and then I'll have more charcoal for cobble. Yeah, I'm just gonna cook up the cobble. I'm gonna cook up the cobble. I'll go collect some more cobble from the hilltop. Let's let's make a, a chest here just for the cobble. Let's make a temporary chest for the cobble. This is not a very large area for the campsite, so there's like, I don't even, I feel kind of cramped. I don't really have a good location for that chest for a good, you know, a good maybe like right here. Yeah, I'll place it right there. I like I like things to look nice. I don't like to just put down chests willy nilly wherever. I like I like it to I like everything to look nice, to satisfy my own personal aesthetic taste. You know, like right here. I think that looks that looks fairly nice. Ah, it's I really don't like how that looks either actually. I have I have very peculiar tastes that I can't even describe. I don't even understand them myself. Maybe right here on this side, yeah. But right here on this side, that will do it. That will do it for now. Yeah, I'll just I'll go I'll go grab a whole bunch of cobble from the hilltop because I, I was I have a bunch of cobble up there because I was trying to level level that up the hill. Clearing up some space to carry up, carry um, all of that. Carry a whole bunch of cobble with me. I'm gonna carry eight stacks of cobble with me from the hillside. I think there's at least that much up there. Hey, yeah, I'll just go ahead and smelt that into stone, and then, and then make stone stone bricks, and then I'll, I'll build the the farmhouse, my starter house, out of stone bricks. There's that that scary sound from within the mountain that I still haven't gotten around to investigating. How are we on time? Day 23. I have one more day until I have to already end the episode. I didn't get very far in this episode, but that is okay. That is okay. We're taking it slow. Because there's no rush. No need to rush. Most important thing is to survive, not to rush. When you rush, you... Oops. Rushing is what, what gets... God damn it. Alright, now I have to redo this whole thing. Rushing is how you lose your hardcore mode worlds. That's, that's what happens when you rush. You lose. You rush, you lose. So it's very important, actually, to take your time. And, uh, and you like, the more... It, I know, like, people don't like to... Normally, people, hardcore mode players, they kind of rush for the... For the uh, for the achievements. They go for you know, trying to get full diamond armor, they go for 
getting themselves full gear, uh, full enchantments, um, they go to the nether, they do all of the stuff before they settle down, before they build anything. Because the idea is, well, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm, I'm going to be safe, that I'm, I have, that I'm safe enough before I start building because I don't want to risk losing everything. I don't, I, st I hate how this looks. I just don't like how that looks. Ah, I'm very, I'm very picky about how things look. Where do I want that chest? That's not a good spot for that chest. I don't, I don't, I'm, I don't, I don't have a good spot for that chest. I mean, I was, I was thinking, like, maybe up here on top of this chest. Like, that's, that's not bad. But then, I don't like having to, like, move, go through here. Like, that's, that's just too, too small. That's just not, I don't like that. That's all right. This is, that's what we're dealing with. That's, that's, that's what we have. Let's just appreciate what you have in life. That's the whole concept of the mun mundane world. That's, that's, that's the mundane world aesthetic. You know, you have to appreciate your lot in life. That's why it's called mundane world. Right, so. I don't, I, sh I shouldn't get, oh shit, god damn it, that scared the shit out of me. That's just my fire. Getting burned in my own campfire. Whew. I shouldn't get too picky with, uh, with things. It's all right. No, it's uh, all right. I, I, I'm going to be picky. I'm going to be picky all I want because it's, it's my, it's my mundane world. It's this part of the mundanity. All right. It's, I have to, I, I like to take things slow. That's, you know, I just, that's fine. I, I, I'm going to allow myself to be picky. I really don't like where that's placed. I'm going to, that's very temporary. It's very temporary. It's there just, just to be there, just to long enough. I'm, it's only going to be there long enough for me to smelt smelt a whole bunch of stone. I'm gonna carry a whole bunch of it with me and s smelt a whole bunch of this down in the other furnace that I have going on on the other side. I'm gonna have all of this cobble here too. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna need like eight stacks. And then I'm also gonna need to get a whole bunch of sand. I'm probably gonna need like four stacks of sand because even a small build, you really it's it's easy to underestimate how much material you're gonna need for anything. Everything in Minecraft, even small builds, they, they take everything takes forever to build. That's why you really should shouldn't you shouldn't start giant projects right away. First thing, like that hilltop. Um, I, I don't wanna I don't wanna. That's why I, I don't I, I wanted to avoid that. I don't wanna have a giant hilltop project right away right off the bat. And I left the... Alright, well, I'll just... Yeah, one chest is going to be enough for all my purposes. For all intents and purposes right now, for now. That should be enough. I'm still holding my bed. Whew. I mean, I don't like how that looks. I'm feeling so, so finicky today about how things look. I'm sorry, guys. Chest. I'm gonna put this cup, this crafting table in this corner, and then a chest is gonna look nice over here, next to this furnace. That looks nice, right? I'm feeling super. Like it's it's anxiety. I'm just tired. The more tired I get, the more finicky I get. Okay, bear with me. Please bear with me. All right, that's 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 good. It's good for now. I guess I, I could no. I I was uh, no. I, I, for a second there, I thought about making it automated and building, you know, getting making get, getting myself a couple of hoppers and setting up a hopper thing because that's not too hard to do. But no, I don't feel like doing that. I don't feel like doing that this early in the game. I'm gonna start flattening out land for the farmhouse build. It's basically going to be like over here, right, right along the, right by the, by the sea. And I might as well go ahead and chop down this tree. Oops. Here, I'm going to leave all of this cobble in this chest for now. And I'm going to go ahead and chop down this tree. Here's my hoe. I broke my hoe. I need another hoe. I need a copper for 
though. <laughs> Damn it. Sorry. Cobble for the hoe. Can you hear the birds chirping? Isn't that nice? Nice atmospheric bird chirping sounds. Such so pleasant. Isn't this relaxing? Isn't this relaxing and uh, refreshing? Chopping down wood with, that, with the user interface turned off. Cinematic wood chopping with birds chirping in the background. I should really shut up and let, let you guys enjoy the show. All right, now, now I'm going to, now it's time for some relaxing landscaping, relaxing flattening, land flattening, which is frankly my favorite thing to do in Minecraft. Leveling land is my favorite thing to do because I, I really, I thoroughly enjoy the monotonous portions, the monotonous aspects of the game. I thoroughly enjoy them. I, I, I think that I find them very soothing. I like, you know, going around breaking down grass. I like going, I like chopping wood. I, I really, my favorite thing is doing this, is going around and uh, leveling land. It is very soothing doing this with, with stone shovels. Like, it's better without the commentary. I should just not even say anything. I should just record myself gradually breaking down dirt blocks with the cinematically with the user face turned off. And I bet you, I bet you, if I made no commentary videos, they would probably get more traction, more traction. But I'm not, I'm not really here so much for the views as I, I'm trying to get people. I'm trying to get people to um, leave me comments. I'm trying to get people to actually interact with me. That's what I'm here for, and that hasn't really happened. Nobody, nobody really likes these yet. The people that have clicked on these videos so far, in this series at least, and this is my fourth attempt, so far nobody's stuck around. It's just people, um, people getting kind of clickbaited by my clever titles. Don't you want to see how to, how to, how to find crystallized potatoes? Yeah, people click on it and then watch like half a minute of it and then back. But yeah, that's that's not what I'm here. And probably if I make no commentary videos, probably people would actually watch through those because it's enjoyable. It is actually satisfying to you know to to watch this, to watch somebody break down dirt blocks. Maybe I could I should make a parallel series of no commentary. The reason I would I want to do commentary is because I want I have a lot of things to say. I have I want this to become a philosophy channel. I mean, in this in this initialization stage, I'm still just kind of in the initialization stage in which I'm building myself, building a platform for myself. I'm trying to to uh, I'm trying to work this hardcore hardcore mode hardcore mode world. I'm trying to build build up this world far enough, I'm trying to get far enough into the game to where I'm, I'm feeling stable. I want to get to a stable spot in the game where I have some things built, I have my starter house built, I have uh, protection enchantments on my armor, and once I feel like I'm in a stable spot, then uh, I'm going to get more serious about the, the falafeli. I'm going to get really into the falafeli, and it's... I mean, initially, in my first three attempts, I mean, I, I kind of already covered a lot of stuff. I, I said a lot of things that, um, uh, if you really want to, you could, if you want to check out my previous attempts, my previous first three seasons, I guess, first first three hardcore hardcore mode attempts, you can watch them. And I, I did go into some detail, a, a little bit of, I did, I did kind of scratch the surface on the topics that I like to talk about in those episodes. But I, I didn't get very far into them, so I don't feel like I don't feel like I'm losing a whole lot by, by having to scrap scrap those episodes and restart. Because I'm I'm gonna have to cover everything again. 
now that I now that I restarted. And that's the thing. That's what. That's why I really. I, it's really important that I survive. Because I really don't want to do that again. I really want to get to day 100, get to a stable spot, uh, establish proof of concept, show you guys that I'm capable of surviving long enough into, in a hardcore mode world that it's going to be worthwhile for you guys to commit to watching the, through the series. And then, and then I'll get to the philosophizing. And then I'll get to the real content, what, what this channel is really meant for. I'll, I'll get to actually talking about... Talking about the things that I want to talk about. The reason why I wanted to do... I wanted to... Uh, do commentary. Right? I only got three saplings out of that. Which is not even enough to replant this tree. Darn it. Well, I flattened out a lot of land. Is this enough? I don't think it's... I don't think so. I don't think this is... This is not 21 by 21 yet. Although, maybe I should just add some dirt blocks on this side of it. And that'll probably be, be enough. And then I'll, that's, that's probably going to be all I need. I'm a, I'm a little, little bit worried about how it's going it, to... It doesn't look right when you have, like, fence right against the... You know, I, I want a couple of blocks. I want, I want the fence to be a couple of blocks away from the dirt. So I might actually go further in, in this way. I'm not sure. I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna just take a kind of take a good look at it, so I can I can look at the space um, in between episodes. I'm gonna take a, a good hard look at the space and figure out exactly how I'm gonna do this and make a make a solid plan for next episode. I'm gonna. I'm gonna walk back to base camp to get that one extra sapling so I can replant that tree properly. So it's very important. Important things. It's okay. It's okay to take your time to you know, walk back to camp for that one sap. It's okay. And because I, I, I like to take things slow. It's okay to take things slow. Uh, I, this is, this series, this channel, I want it to be anti-sensationalist. I want to take everything slow and that's not going to appeal to the vast majority of people that uh, watch YouTube, that consume YouTube content, aren't going to like that. And I completely understand that. I, I completely understand that. This is not the way that you get views. On YouTube, you don't you don't just take things slow because people don't like that. People want, want everything, you know, nobody has time for that. We, has, we, we, we live in a, a um, in a uh, world of starved attention spans. Um, but also people, you know, pe people's time is very limited and very precious, so it, it's, it, I, I completely understand people not wanting to watch through hours of content, especially if they don't know if it's gonna go anywhere. Like right now, I, I, you don't, you don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to manage to survive long enough to actually finish, to complete this build. So it's, it's completely understandable to me that, that people aren't really trying to watch through these videos yet. But in the future, in the future, I, I do believe that future people, you guys, in the future, I really don't like how that chest looks there. I kind of want to move. I, well, I wanted to face this direction. I think that'll look. That'll look. There we go. Now, now it looks nice. I like how, I like that better. Now I'm happy with it. <laughs> so picky. And yeah, let's just do that for the dirt because I have more dirt to shovel. I believe. I believe I do. I think so. I think I'm gonna have more dirt to shovel. I'm gonna need another shovel. Let's make another shovel real quick. Yeah, this is good. This is fine. I'm still good on food. This is a good stopping point. I kind of want to count the, the blocks real quick. How many blocks are we? Do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Maybe I can squeeze out like seventeen if I go. You know, if I put blocks, put dirt blocks down, and expand the, expand that layer out. That's gonna be seventeen. So this is still not twenty-one yet. 
I still need to dig into this hillside a little bit further. And then I'll probably have the house, you know, along this edge, this ledge, along this hillside. And I'll have I'll have a door coming out up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's gonna be just right. It's gonna be just right. I'm gonna have a a, a uh, six block first floor. Yeah, I think that's gonna look just right. So I'm probably gonna end up carving out like this much. So like from here, carving out this hillside. I'm just gonna shovel this away next episode. Out to here. And then I'll add, I'll, I'll lay some more, some dirt down, you know, up, up to like about like this spot probably. And do something like that and then have, you know, and then have like one more layer above that. Sorry guys, just a little bit. I just wanted to, I just got. I'm just getting carried away a little bit over here, uh, planning on the. I'm trying to, just because I wanna. I want to have something I can look at in between episodes to plan. So this that'll give me a good kind of a good. Um, what's it called? Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember words. I just wanted to go into f into. Um, free cam real quick just to take a look around here so I can plan ahead. So this is going to be 21 by 21. That's where the, it might not be a perfect square. It might be, I, I might end up building the house like over here and then have farmland over here. Yeah. And it's raining now. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. So next episode, I'm going to get started on my farmhouse build. We get started in the farmhouse build, and it's going to be over here now instead of up on the hilltop. And I'm going to have a view. I'm going to have a good view from the house. I'm going to have a good view of the moonrise instead of the sunset. I'm not going to be able to see the sunset. I will be able to see the moonrise, and that's 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 pretty good too. It's pretty good too. So yeah, this is. I'm pretty happy with this location. It's a much better location than the hilltop. I'm I'm really glad I decided not to continue the the hilltop operation because that that would have taken a long time, and it wouldn't do justice to the hill, right? Like making a small build on that hill, I mean, it, that hilltop, it's it's pretty big and it, it's just calling for a bigger build. I want a, a nice big build up on top of that. Over here, I just want a small a small starter house build. All right, guys, that's, that's it for today. Thank you very much for bearing with me. Let me know in the comments if you made it all the way to the end of the video. I really appreciate that if you did. You are the best kind of viewers if you made it all the way through to the end of the video. Let me know. And um, all comments are welcome. I really like, I mean, I, I'm doing this. I really want to connect with people, on the, with strangers on YouTube. I like my parasocial relationships with strangers on YouTube. So if you're that kind of, if you're, uh, you know, if you, if you want to chat with somebody, with a content creator on YouTube, if you're that kind of person, I'm that kind of a person. I'm that kind of a person that, that I used to do that uh, very unsuccessfully. Nobody, uh, I, I, I couldn't really find content creators that really wanted to chat with me very much. So I decided, uh, hell, hell, I should just make content, make it myself and see if anybody else, if there's other people out there that would want to chat with me, you know, uh, from the viewer side. And uh, and I just really, I, I feel like I have a lot to say. I have a lot of, I really want to get to the, I'm re really looking forward to getting around to sharing my, my philosophy with you, my ideology, to um, actually following through with my agenda and sharing my philosophical ideology with the world. I'll get around to all of that once I get better established in this world, in this hardcore mode world. So I'm not asking you to commit to this yet. Like, you know, I uh, hope, perhaps, you know, I, I, I expect people to not really be watching these until I get farther, until I make it to episode 20. But eventually I will. 
and hopefully some of you are going to be watching this just to watch through everything just just for the sake of completion and some people are going to just want to watch through everything through the entire playlist and that's kind of why I'm, that's why I decided I want to I want to record everything I want you to see the entire process the slow the slow and the slow mundane parts of it I want you guys to see all of that because there's a relaxing element to that there's kind of a soothing charming relaxing element to that and I think I'm not bad at the commentary I think I actually make pretty pretty decent commentary that some people are going to enjoy in the long run so that's those are my hopes and dreams and with that I'm gonna end the episode that's all for today thanks a lot guys Chatelet, my fellows. Chatelet.